Means Woodshop merch is now available. Check the link down in the description. Hey, we thought we broke the camera. <laughs> I threw this piece of wood at the rooster. <laughs> Welcome back to another Wednesday follow-up. I don't think we need to say, join me again, this the boy anymore. I'm here to stay. It's the boy. It's me! Before we dive into anything, I will mention there will not be a regular project video on Friday. We've had a lot of stuff going on. Family coming from out of state to uh, for a wedding. We've had three birthdays, one of which was the boy's. Hey! 29. He's a 29-year-old boy. Because of that, on Friday is when we will be doing the Q&A answering answering everybody's questions. I'm sure everybody was looking forward to getting their questions answered and seeing what our responses are, but simply because I don't want to leave you all hanging on a Friday with no video, uh, we're going to do the Q&A then. Yeah, just have to wait two more days. Just two more days, we can make it. It's hump day. Hump day! <laughs> Last Friday's video was this dope-ass screw and nail caddy. The ammonia fumed oak. Almost everybody that watched that thing didn't know what about the ammonia fumed. I didn't know about it. It seems kind of an odd way to treat wood. It, it is, and I really can't recall exactly how I found out about it. I know, I know I've seen Steve Ramsey do it, but I think the first time I saw it was Andy Rawls, who is another Texas woodworker. Dude, and then look, this is a piece I left in there for a week. It's so dark. It is. <laughs> I'm glad to be organized now. I'm glad that everybody seemed to enjoy it. Got a place for your screws and nails now. You know, I can carry it. With your hand. With, with my hand. It's going to be here all the time. All the time. Get rid of the black kids. Okay, Roy was on there talking about uh, this. This reminds him a lot of one that he had that he made when he was in junior high. Oh. And uh, he said he took it with him everywhere and he left it at like a storage house. Dude, old Gary. Gary, Gary said this was very cool. Gary said he's gonna have to Google it and see what other woods it works on. Gary, I think it's really just oak. In that video, when I put this in there, I did say I was gonna put other pieces of wood in there, see what it does, and then there's just no follow-up. No footage. <laughs> no footage in that video, and the reason being is because I just like got no results. Put a piece of cherry in there. Here's some regular unfumed cherry, and then fumed cherry, and you could not really see a difference at all. Do not turn! And then same with walnut, like no really notable difference at all. It did make a difference on maple, but this maple was in there for like a week. Oh, Jesus. You want to open it right now? No, I don't. Take a, take really a don't. sniff. I'm like kind of hungover, so. Heard from Working Man. Working Man! He said, uh, really nice work. That's a big compliment coming from the working man. Dude, working man is always succinct and efficient in his commenting. Luke is loving the, the merch shop, and uh, he's going to be getting a banana boat shirt. And Luke wants to know if there will be banana boat tank tops. There is a banana boat tank top option. I believe he said something about showing off his, his guns. Yeah, he said his biceps. Raw oh, and order. Look, silverfish, dude. You could open up a Cheeto factory with all that cheese, man. Give it a try. <laughs> Give it a try. Give it a try, man. <laughs> Remy bought the first shirt. Remy's a champ. Remy is a champ. <laughs> <laughs> and another one. It's not a one. I'm just trying to hit you with the stick. This is for some high caliber woodworking, dude. Straight out of the Walmart bin. I think that's about it. That's about it. Dude. Well, I didn't have kind of a question. It really wasn't a weekly question. It was more of something I was curious about. Regarding comments on the channel, I would like to know if y'all would be okay with not, not respond via com with a comment. If I respond to a comment on, on YouTube, by the time the Wednesday follow-up rolls around, you probably kind of already get an idea of what we're going to say. Whereas if I like, like and heart the comment and don't necessarily respond. It gives you some anticipation to what uh, our response will be. So I'm really more just curious, would anybody be okay with that or do you still want a written response as well? Because I will. I don't want to feel, I don't want anybody to feel like I'm, I'm snubbing you. I just figured it would make things a little more interesting. Yeah, a little bit of 
mystery. A little bit of mystery, like, oh, what, what's he going to say on, on Wednesday? I'm waiting in terror and suspense. <laughs> I've got anxiety. I've got anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know that below. Also, uh, remember to check out Means Merch Shop and Means Music Shop as well. Adam, I think you got some shit you got up <laughs> I do. I'm so bad about this. There will be uh, links down in the description for Means Merch Shop and Means Music Shop. And also at the end of this video, there will be a little card with uh, his channel on there. So. And I think that's it. Catch you next time, eh? Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.